So I started the community plate back in 2014. I've always loved to cook. My way of doing things, customizable is like my big thing. My stuff is more small plates, little creative things here and there with table spreads looking nice instead of just seeing all those chafing dishes in a line. Charcuterie in layman's terms is actually the meat that's on a board. So the cured meats like salami, prosciutto, capicola, things like that. That's actually what charcuterie is. It's morphed into those boards and that's what people are calling it nowadays. We have capicola, we have prosciutto and salami. One is peppered and one's just plain. And then we have a variety of different cheeses. We have a cinnamon cranberry goat cheese. That and blueberry vanilla goat cheese are both really popular nowadays because they're really pretty when you cut them. So it makes the board look nice without really even trying. And the sweet and the saltiness because a goat cheese is a very salty cheese. So that outside you might think cinnamon and cranberry is weird, but once you pair it all together, it's really good. And then a lot of staples, things that I would put on any board. I have green grapes and black grapes, strawberries and blackberries. We have pickles. Today we have raspberry jam. So the sweet and salty aspect is also very important because once you pair it with something else, it will change the flavor. I don't like blue cheese, but when you mix it with honey or fig jam or even a raspberry jam, it's really great. The crackers that work best, wheat, poppy seed, you're gonna use the cracker almost as a plate and then you put all the stuff on top. Figs, blue cheese pair really well, especially with bacon. The other jams that I like to use, raspberry, blueberry, contrasting flavors, and all of them are the sweet component to other things. The hard cheeses, usually Parmesan, Asiago, they're a little nuttier. The way that they're shaped is really nice for the board itself. And then some of the softer cheeses, your blue cheeses, your goat cheese, brie. The thing about it too is the way that you cut things. So when you serve a brie, you want it to be room temperature. But if you serve something like goat cheese, you want it to be on the colder, chilled side so it doesn't fall apart when it's sitting there or when someone picks at it. The visuals of the board is the main thing. Number one, that's why everyone loves them because you bring it to a party and it's what everyone talks about because it looks the best. The green is really important, but colors all around are really important, which is why we use strawberries with that pop of red. The big thing that I like to do is arrange the meats first, usually in some sort of pattern. Salami roses are a big thing now. When you're making the board, you wanna pop goat cheese or anything that's soft, maybe in the freezer for about 10 or 15 minutes. It makes it really much easier to cut through so it's not falling apart. Depending on how sharp your knife is, if you cut a cheese with a knife and the cheese is too soft or this or that, it will just break it apart and it won't look as pretty. Especially with those goat cheeses with the fruit around it, the white inside and then the fruit on the outside, you wanna see that contrast of color. So if you cut it and it's soft, it's gonna get all mixed up. So then that's gonna take away from the visualization, which is important. Obviously, wine's always a great pairing. Any kind of flavored sparkling water would be really great with the strawberries and the cheeses together. The vibe that I think the charcuterie boards and boxes offer to a party is versatility. It's easier for everybody to pick and mingle and still have a really good time without having to sit down with a knife and fork and eat that way. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.